is this a world map? Do you see Asia, Australia, all of that? No. It's like, oh my God, it's gonna be 10,000 years of tribulation. Ain't no sequel. The last season, Moedin. Ain't no getting through them gates without that blood on you. I can tell he ordering my steps. Cause when the world said no, the father still said yes. I never thought I could care for somebody else. But now that I understand that it's bigger than myself. For the body's not gonna remember. Just keep that in mind. For the place by the most high. Keep the laws and the faith of Christ. Yeah, we benefited back when we repented. If you get the feeling, you agree. Never been a villain, need a penicillin. Put the Jesus in him, set him free. All can't haul like me. Pray it don't fall on me. Gotta get it, get it, never in his feelings. Keep the scriptures in him, no leaks. Rose from the east, that's why we teach. Don I see, I U I see. Keep the law, faith and he. He that rose, don't play with me. My faith on beast, my faith gon' eat. Read, fill another vacancy. Think we see shit because you leave. Fix more faces you can perceive, please. I never thought I could care for somebody else. But now that I understand that it's bigger than myself, for the body's not one member, just keep that in mind. For the place by the most high, keep the laws and the faith of Christ. Is it bigger than me? Brought me down to the lowest degree. Now that I'm building my spirit, his voice, I can hear it, and now it sounds clearer to me. Like when he tell us to gather yourselves together. Oh nation, I desired. It was implied that we will forget who we are. But now that we woke, we can rise. Cut all the ties and root out the lies. And all of the demons that's hidden inside. Gather that foolishness, put it aside. Don't be a part of our nation's demise. But endeavoring to keep the unity. Loving my neighbor was new to me. I never thought that I could love another brother like the way that I was loving me. But I do, and that's true. I never thought I could care for somebody else. But now that I understand that it's bigger than myself, for the body's not one member, just keep that in mind. For the place by the most high, keep the laws and the faith of Christ. I lost my family, gained the family. Now it's brotherhood and unity. People true to me. If I'm tripping, they reproving me. Laws is kept in deep. Pick me up when I am down. Charity, it never fails. Pray that we all get our crowns. If you separate, you bug it. We here for you, cousin, if you struggling. Keep it pushing, it's bigger than you and I. Israelites, got an army on our side. If you fall, pick you up. We a nation down the right. I never thought I could care. For somebody else But now that I understand That it's bigger than myself For the body's not one member Just keep that in mind For the place by the most high Keep the laws and the faith of Christ This is real life, so <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear some buzzing. It's usually the printer and my heater that you see right there, right? Um, currently 67 degrees in here, so we are trying to bundle up the best way we can. But I wanted to pop up on here just real quick because I have no clue where this is going to go, so I'm just going to let the spirit lead me. <laughs> because more recently I've been having certain conversations regarding, you know, how people give the enemy a lot of credit 
for the things that are happening in their life, um, especially if anything like bad happens and so forth. And I'm challenging the notion on people have to do a better job on discerning whether the enemy was sent or if God is doing what he needs to do to prune you to get to a better situation, right? And another conversation that I have had recently, because there have been several fruitful conversations that I think I've been having, they've um, unfortunately haven't been able to get to a conclusion, but there's an understanding because um, the conversation has to get short because I'm either getting busy or I have to do something or the person has to do something. Whatever case may have you, right? Specifically, the timeline in Revelations in the beginning with the seven churches, with the tribulation being 10 days. Because if you pick up on the timeline of things, um, God and Christ say, you know, a day is like a thousand years to us and a thousand years to us is just one day for them so when i you know got to that point in my reading i was just like oh my god it's gonna be ten thousand years of tribulation because we only get 2024 oh can we not because mm, i can't I just, i'm i wouldn't be here for all them 10,000 years, but you know, <laughs> just as, as I'm here, you know, are we gonna be contributing to the point in which you know revelations will come into play? And there's things in which people say, and I agree, that we are in several prophecies already in revelations and it's like for the stuff that is happening and i think i mentioned this in a previous video but people really think that everything is going to just all happen at once and everything no it's a gradual thing like you will notice that certain things are getting drug out if you will it's just taking more time for things to be put into place which is fine. Prophecy has been being fulfilled and it's going to continue. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. And what was the other conversation? Oh, um, how people like to harp on the word world. And even so, let me show you. Given that if it was literally talking about the whole planet when it comes to the scriptures and who God is talking to and who Christ is referring to and who Peter, Paul, Luke, and John <laughs> is referring to, then it would have been everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It would have been everywhere. But let's see. Even with this, right? It says the world of patriarchies, right? World of patriarchies. And you see the different areas, right? So it's the Hittites, Arabia, Babylonians, things like that, right? And then you get to the land of the 12 tribes and it is explaining the route of the Exodus and so forth, right? Is this a world map? I'll, I'll say it again and I will show it again is that a world map do you see Asia Australia all of that no you don't okay I'm gonna need people to understand <laughs> that Christ with his teaching and his expansion and Paul with him going to the Gentiles and we're not going to go into that breakdown of Gentiles. There's already enough content out there regarding that and it's beautifully done. I'm not going to be that person. However, visually for the people that are visual learners, <laughs> this is for you, honey. Okay. So with places like Egypt, Sinai, talking about the Red Sea, Moab, 
and so forth, Syria, um, Manessa, with them having two lots. Again, we're not going to get into that. Um, Gad, Reuben, Edom, Judah, Simon, and all that, right? There were lotments. Okay? They were lotments. And people like to say, well, he uh, expanded to the whole world. From what I read, Paul went as far as to the Gentiles, but Christ went to Jerusalem, Judea, back to Jerusalem, then over here, then over there, back to Judea. You know what I'm saying? It, it mentioned nothing about him going to the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, to get over here he, in the Red Sea, Mediterranean Sea, Gray Sea, whatever may have you in the Red Sea. That's when the boats were involved in everything. Again, for those that don't understand in the scriptures, this is a visual situation, even with the kingdom of David and Solomon. And again, Christ's ministry. This is where he traveled. Okay, do you see, do you see anywhere else? Okay, so yes, the, with the scripture where it says that knowledge was going to be increased, yes, but that is because of the diaspora of the different tribes. Now, mind you, a lot of people, they don't understand too, which I get. I didn't get it either when I first started out, but now it's an abundantly clear that there are certain categorizations of people in here. It's not in what you think. There's a lot more books that we are not knowing of, but this is a great starting point that there are nations of people that were called certain names okay and for me i would tell you to just do your own research when it comes to which one you think you are classified as okay i know which one i'm a part of but for those that can't relate to the certain groups of people that have the certain promises that have the certain adoptions that have the certain laws okay if you are not really relatable to this history book then you know it's you just have to do your own research on where your part plays within this world right and again the world i'm talking about now globally okay where your place in life is right and i think it's important for people to understand that it's more of a cultural thing because people of other groups have a very deeply rooted culture about themselves however there are you know the people that are called certain things now lost a lot of their heritage lost their true names lost their freedoms with the transatlantic slave trade and so forth it's in here why that happened what would happen after and how that's going to be corrected when i tell you that basic concept <laughs> has been at first when i learned about it it was really mind-blowing and then when i started to really understand and mold myself again into the culture made life make more sense if you will and for me just knowing the basic concept like i said there is the god of war okay that's in here the god that created everything that don't play about his chosen okay again and this is tied into the conversation that there has been in hierarchy since the beginning of time. The children of Israel were going through it in Egypt and so forth and out of the many type of captivities that they were going through, there were several. 
However, there was an ultimate shift that happened again, which corrected everything and they were back on top, but then they caused to be disobedient and so forth. So then they had to go back into captivity. He is the ultimate father, yes, but in a sense of the discipline, he has taken that role for the children of Israel to be more chastised than most groups when it comes to the other deities that other people follow, right? That's literally for them. The other deities and whatever were built for those people. So let them worship what they need. Because again, like I said, everybody has their own part, right? Everybody has their own <laughs> situations, okay? They have their own cultural, deeply rooted situations. Let them do them. We have to give back to what we need to do so that way again in previous video where i say when the wicked are ruling the people mourn but the scripture said that i pulled out people groan but when the righteousness rules it's a better situation yes personally i'm trying to try and play my part well when it comes to that now mind you i have always been able to get a certain point across in especially being in the world um just being a public speaker and so forth and doing trainings for my staffs and so forth so yeah i'm able to put together a lesson plan but i'm like okay i feel like there are certain topics that i can be good at and i'm kind of um morphing into that now um, but there are some that I'm just not going to touch because there is so much content that's out there that I believe is very well done that I feel like that is their niche and this is for me to make things more visual, 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 relatable and fun to kind of listen to. The big personality that I have, I think can help just for those that are maybe just learning and getting into certain things or just want to be able to know that this walk is a very tough one. However, you're able to still be charismatic in your learning and in your teachings and so forth and understand that yes, this is going to be a real doozy when he come back, okay? Because Christ is coming back. A lot of people, they believe that once he ascended and so forth that was pretty much it and now the holy spirit is here to further help those right but even in revelations this is what i'm not getting do people not read up to revelations because even in revelations he said to the seven churches now mind you christ he gonna hold a grudge because he said that i got an issue with you church I got an issue with this church. I got an issue with you church, the lukewarm church, the, let me get it. Let me, hold it, let me get it. Cause I'm gonna name these by name, right? Cause there was a constant thing that he said that I got an issue. I know what you're doing. I see the good, but I also see certain things that I can't let go and I got an issue. You know, Christ said this. Revelations 2, not gonna read it all, but it's the, Loveless church, the persecuted church, the compromising church, the corrupt church, the dead church, the faithful church, and then the lukewarm church. Because the angel had to go forth and tell John about it, right? And to record everything. It was another commonality. Revelation 2 and 7, and this is in the NKJV, and it says, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Now, mind you, this is a big if. If you overcome these things, he will give you paradise, right? And what was another commonality? In this specific one, the compromising church, as I said, he is balanced as he has told them you know, because he says, I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. And you hold fast to my name 
and did not deny my faith even in the days of Antipas was my faithful martyr who was killed among you where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you because you have there are those who hold the doctrine of Balaam, etc., etc. Okay? When he says, but I have a few things against you. He has a few he has a few things against people. It's a balanced thing. He wants you to be perfect. Just like him. Okay? He wants you to be, you know, loving towards your people. He wants you to be able to understand because if I don't even know how many times it says whoever has an ear let them hear don't harden your ears don't harden your heart don't you know blind your eyes just things like that okay he wouldn't be saying that on a constant basis because I'm gonna tell you right now if you are relating to this fact if you feel like you have short-term memory if you feel like <laughs> You were told some just like a child, honey. Just like a child. If you were told things over and over and over and over and over again, you just not getting it and you stubborn and you hard headed and you don't want to do nothing. You be like, I'd rather go over here. That's why it keeps saying, if someone has an ear, let them hear. If someone is able to see, let them see. If someone is able to listen to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, please do so and hearken onto it and don't let your light dim because there are categories in which I mentioned in other videos where people get the lamp, they get the candlestick, they get the wisdom, they get the understanding, and then they burn it out because they bug out. Because they go into it way too deeply and they go down a rabbit hole and that's what consumes them. This is once you know a certain breakdown of something and you're able to get into the basic concepts of the Bible okay it's a basic conceptual thing and it is repetitive because those <laughs> that are supposed to be paying attention to this book have a very bad short-term memory loss situation they have a really bad situation about themselves where if they once they don't feel like they want to do nothing no more because who who do that who do that nah i'm not gonna do that for what what's the point or now a woman be like you're not gonna tell me what to do what who sound like that our people, right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, okay? Please understand that with the conversations that I have been having, it's making even more sense, you know, as I'm talking about it out loud because for a couple of years, I haven't been able to really speak on the scriptures and even with these videos they have been helping me you know sort things out and understand more um but with me just reading it and meditating on certain things and the basic concepts of things that i have to remind myself in my head actually speaking these concepts out loud have been really helpful and transformative to me so i hope that these videos are helpful closing out because i can go on for a couple hours but we we're not gonna do that we are in a certain time because another basic concept of things is prophecy has been fulfilled is currently being fulfilled and will continue to be fulfilled if with the earlier point of me understanding that revelations in many regards right now things are unfolding and so forth i just want more people to get into this book as much as they can i was fearful at one point that i felt like i was never going to get through the bible because of the repetitiveness because one thing about me i'm able to get things really quickly so the repetitiveness it kind of irked me a little bit it's like okay i get it and it was so frustrating to know that these people just weren't getting it 
you know the repetition is and can be good for most people because there are the visual learners and the ones that learn from the repetition so i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just saying for the type of learner i am i'm a more visual let me see it and so forth type of learner and then I can go off of the repetition to make it into my long-term memory. Whatever type of learner you are, please understand that this book is going to tap into several learning curves. So have grace with yourself with learning certain things, grace with the other people that are around you that may not even understand what you're trying to do. They're not going to understand that you're trying to be a better person. They're not going to understand that you are just trying to live for the Lord and you're trying to be one with Christ and you're trying to have the faith and believe in Christ and only things that you can even get to God is through Christ and so forth and everything that you become because of the words that are in here it is never going to be a bad thing I want people to understand that you are going to be knocked down you're going to be misunderstood and mind you I have always been misunderstood individual so that ain't nothing to me I don't care at this point but now it's switched from being misunderstood in the world to be misunderstood out of the world and I don't care because I have a newfound peace about myself I have a new love about myself I have a new calmness about myself because again as I said the personality is going to be there but I'm using that skill because God gave me all of these skills and I'm not going to stop using them I'm just using them for him now that's all it is and I just encourage people to do the same especially if they start getting deeper into this book if you're role in that is to fall away from it if your plan is to just not even understand it if your role is to completely understand it and have a complete 180 about yourself then that's just is what it is god who's gonna choose who's in it and who's not at the end of the day that's why he says in another video that we might be saved this is an if most things in here can be an if so if you really want it that bad you will do what he says you will work diligently and you will endure everything that comes with it because I heard a phrase I forgot where I saw it but um, it said something about your the cost of your new life is your old one right so just please understand that that phrase do it on the right hand side don't do it on the left hand side because enduring on the left hand side it is not going to be conducive to you so knowing that you're born again knowing that you're molding into the person that you need to be for god and christ for the person that you need to be for your family for the person that you need to be for this planet because there is already enough like i said wicked people in other videos i'm already saying that and i'm gonna hammer that in you it's not needed they got what they got they doing what they need to do and they frolicking and they having a good old time and they ruling this planet and they doing the thing that they need to do because the world was handed to the wicked let them do that you take yourself out of that and do god's work okay for someone that did not know where this was going to go thank you lord Thank you for using my voice for that. Because with me, I get to a point where I kind of black out. <laughs> and I don't typically know where things are going to go and how piece, things are pieced together and so forth. I just let him use me as a vessel. And that's what it is. Okay. So I'm going to stop the video here. I'm actually going to do some reading because with that you know i want to dive in deeper into revelations myself today so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you like the format of these vessel talks because i'm trying to kind of combine the vlogs and my vessel talks sometimes you know we just don't have the content just be the content we're going to do it organically and we're going to move from there okay so until the next one take care